Hello, today I would like to show you a very interesting device. This is a battery operated espresso coffee machine. And it's absolutely crazy that this device can actually boil the water, create a pressure and make you a espresso coffee. This is how the unit looks like. And I was waiting for almost a year to make this video because each time I was thinking that I found an improvement for this unit, but it ended up to not be that great. And finally, I'm in a point that I can highly recommend you this unit. So let's just quickly take a look. Here is the battery. And if you need, you can actually buy a couple of these batteries and you can swap them in the field if it's going to be discharged. It is capable of making uh, three shots of coffee from uh, water at a room temp. So absolutely no problem. Here we fill water, we've got our heating element, we've got the PTC or NTC thermal sensor and the drain that's going to grab the water down, flush. There is a inside pump and here is the cap that is going to pour our coffee. And here we are putting the Nespresso capsule and let's make ourselves a coffee. I'm using capsules like this. They are, they should be safe from environment. And this, this can be okay. This is like a paper like. You grab like this, you twist, you lock like this. And you add water. This is a cold water at room temp. We can put our probe. And as you can see, this is a room temp water. This is a fill line. So we go like this. We close the lid. We press the power button until it beep. And now it's warming water. And when the water gets like about 85 Celsius degree, it's going to start pumping water and making our coffee. Of course, you do not need to make a coffee. If you don't drink a coffee, you can make a milk with a a hot chocolate just just saying that there is a possibility this device don't know that it's making a, a milk or hot chocolate until you you tell it and is this a good device this is absolutely great device i use it in a winter and in a summer and working perfect having a small shot of warm coffee because it's not like a extremely hot after you pump it through the capsule it's a little bit cold down so i would say it's a warm coffee cup of coffee not not like a boiling hot that you've got from a, a device at home but it's pretty decent and in a cold environment feel great but it have a couple of disadvantages and i'm going to tell you the, them right now the biggest problem is that you have to wait about 10 minutes to make yourself a cup of coffee and in some cases that might be a problem in my case that was absolutely not a problem because i can hike and while hiking, I can press this button 
I can put it in my backpack in the upward position and it's going to make a coffee and it's going to beep when it's going to be ready and also the pump is going to start. So in a very simple word, what I'm trying to tell you that this device is making your coffee in an unattended way so you don't have to like wait and watch for the for the device to start working you can do other things you can grab and sit with your radio you can press this button just like we did in the in the couple of seconds and you can play with the radio and when it will be ready then you've got no problem in in drinking it and cleaning it up but where is the biggest problem the biggest problem is when you are with someone with when you are with someone if you you like or you love then you would like to share your coffee and there is no technical way because the espresso is extremely small shot so splitting it into two person is completely a mistake also situation when one person is going to get a one shot then you have to wait a 10 minute then this is absolutely absolutely a bad idea because if they wait in this 10 minute time frame their coffee is going to be cold and if you if that person drink then you wait you 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 completely lost that social event and i didn't like that i wasn't happy with that so i make a investment in this kettle and in that kettle you can make yourself water for a two coffee you can make actually what I'm doing, I'm putting much more water than you need for this. And I'm making the coffee and then just adding more water. So I've got a like a full cap. So with this unit, you've got absolutely no problem in having like social event because making a coffee in this unit take like a seconds like 20 seconds that's the time that this device is actually making coffee the other part of time is waiting for the water to be boiled and if you bypass the boiling step then you go straight to just spitting the water through the capsule and you've got like i don't know like 50 50 coffee shots on one one charge of this machine so then this is starting to making like a great device with your friend. You put a coffee, you turn it on, you hold this button for a five second. It's making a couple of beeps and then bypassing the warming water step. And this is absolutely great device. If you pair this up with a kettle that is capable of making a coffee for like a free person and you just go with a free capsule one by one water capsule bam it's ready water capsule bam it's ready water capsule bam it's ready and you can sit with your friends or with your loved one and you enjoy that great experience that you make yourself a uh, a coffee in the in the field and it's like a fresh brew it's not from a, for a thermal flask so it started to be warm but i believe we are very far away from moment that it's going to be ready but we can make a quick pick inside if you if you will So we are around 50 
Celsius degree. And to be honest, I would like to let you watching with this unit constantly working because the long wait time would be bad for some applications. So if you are in the work and you've got a 15 minute break and if you believe that, oh, I'm going to grab myself this unit, I'm going to turn it on and make myself a coffee, then it's not going to work for you. If you do not have time, then it's not for you. If you have ability to grab a hot water, then as I said, I'm going to show you this like 20 seconds. That's the time that you need to, to make a hot coffee with a, with a hot water. It does not need to be boiling hot. It can be at 20, 80, 85 Celsius degree. And yeah, I was trying different power options. First of all, I tried a power supply with my Gold Zero, and I was running this from a AC to DC. And then I do not have that limit of three shots. On the Gold Zero, I was able to make a coffee all day with my friends, and it was working perfect. Then I stopped, and I was like, okay, I don't want to carry the AC to DC adapter, that, that is stupid. I would like to power that from my military battery and I make myself a cable that plug that plug into that thing, the battery pack. You can unplug it and this is a standard barrel DC jack, DC connector, and you can power it from a different 12 volt supplies. And I was making that different experiments, but for me, the kettle was a game changer. If you are hiking solo, then you can get away with, if three shots is okay for you, the waiting time is okay for you, you're playing with your radio, then that's fine. I would add, while being at your place, I would just buy a second battery. And after three shots, I would replace it and go again. It starts to being warm. We can make a quick pick. Let's make a quick pick. And I'm not going to touch the, the plate because I'm sure it's going to be at much higher temp, 61 Celsius degrees. So as you can see, it's slow and it's slow. The main problem the main thing that when I was buying it, I was fully understand that this is a bad idea to warm water from a battery. You need an extremely lot amount of energy to put the water in a one Celsius degree. So some people on the Amazon page, they were not happy about that. And they were saying, oh, it's taking a uh, very, very long time. And when I received this, and when I noticed that it take like a 10 minutes, I was actually impressed that, yeah, 10 minutes, it, this is a pretty decent value of time if you are considered that this is from a battery. And I believe it is like a 50 or 60 watt at 12 volts. I, when I was plugging this to the lab power supply that was the value that i see and yeah it's warming up it's starting to be uh, really nice and yeah that's the my the best set for a field operation and when you do not warm the water it's like a 50 shot, so you have absolutely no problem in the battery running flat. It's working for like 20 seconds. And you do not have to think about swapping the battery. Let's see. Now, as you can see, we've got almost 
70 Celsius. And I was very impressed because I was trying this in the winter when there was like a lot of snow. I stuck it in the snow. I'm pretty sure if you follow my videos, you were able to see when I've got my field day with a tough book, the UHF line of sight antenna directional. I was doing a, a test, I was sending an email and I was enjoying my warm cup of coffee and we are going to stack that probe into the coffee so you are going to exactly see what kind of temp are we looking for but as I'm telling you in the in the winter it wasn't that hot I mean the temp here was absolutely exactly the same that you can assume with the with the probe so it's going to warm this as long until it reached the correct temp but when the everything down is cold like the the grain coffee inside the whole path that the water need to flow if that is like a zero celsius degree is going to take up some of the of the warmth and yeah it was nice it was very happy but you have that feeling that it's not that with this unit i'm getting the 100 celsius degree and it's just a crazy big difference you pour for one person you run it and after it's being run you add more water and you make yourself a full cup and then you go to the other person and i'm going to show you in second how quickly this can be done with a hot water i've got a, i've got a hot water here which most likely is going cold yeah it's pretty cold what you are going to see see the point point of no return let's see the temp here you can see it start to making steam and we are on almost 80 celsius degree this is very important so you you watch this video and you know what you are buying because in some application that might be not accepted and the ad didn't tell you how long you have to wait i was fully aware of that i was making uh, hot water using uh, a heater that you put into your glassware and a 12 volt so i'm fully familiar how long does it take i've got a vintage soviet russian kettle that was on the 12 volt and also if you would like to have it uh, fully boiled you are looking at uh, 20 or 30 minutes oh you can hear so we've got let's take a look how nicely you see how nicely this is how this is your coffee this is what you can get in the field in the woods on a hike you've got your beautiful coffee and that's all that's all here is your coffee let's take a look i'm going to stick the probe and as you can see it uh it is like a 53 celsius degree and we will measure it that temp on top and you would see almost 80 degree so you can clearly see they didn't lie they didn't lie but that's how much energy is being lost and pulled in the device so let me try this it's a nice strong coffee because the volume of water is really small oh that was a good one 
and here I'm going to show you it's going to be messy here but we do not care you put new capsule close it go like this and just pretend that this is a warm water from this device you pour it you lock it and I'm going to show you this open and you wait uh, five seconds until two beeps and it's you see how the water is being pulled there just take a look how nicely it drinking that water and it's going on the other end And it's done. You've got your another coffee. Not as hot, and that's because they, the water have a 50 Celsius degree. And we've got a mess here. But as you can see, it was very quickly processed. So if you've got a couple person, no problem, three person with cattle, you can you can give them a nice coffee. So I hope you find that interesting. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.